Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. Okay. Now, uh, in the last tutorial, we saw how to make uh, so different different sections in the document, how to make paragraphs, line return, new page, and how to make uh, table, how to make a table of contents. Okay. Now, in in uh, with now. Uh, Thing is, with whatever we learned last time, we'll be in a position to write a, a large amount of the major crux of the documents and give a reasonable amount of uh, uh, reasonable amount of you know uh, document structure and everything. Okay. Now, uh, in today's section, we'll be talking about how to write mathematical notations in LaTeX, and this forms actually the major uh, emphasis of LaTeX la, major emphasis for tech and LaTeX to come writing nice writing mathematical notations okay now let's start with now the, to start with uh, something simple the herons formulae for the um, area of a triangle is given by okay now the thing is now let's okay um, okay now here uh, let's start let's think about this for a moment the herons formula for the area of a triangle is given by the notation a equals square root of s times s minus a times s minus b as uh, times s minus c okay now now let's think about how to write this Suppose if we want to write this in a single line, what we need is that we need to enclose them in uh, sing uh, we encl enclose them in dollar signs. Okay, and if this okay, now let's see. Uh, we enclose them in dollar signs. Okay, now let's write write the content. Now uh, a equals okay. We need a square root symbol, right? So the sp the square root symbol is given by s q r t this one the first uh, not this one this one second one click enter and then in the tab what we can write is s times brackets s minus a times sorry um, s minus b times s minus c okay now if I write this let me compile this out and there you have it now let me zoom this up for you guys so that you guys can have a better look and there you have it the area of a triangle but the the, the herons formula for the area of a triangle is given by a equals s times a minus s times b minus s times c times s the whole square root okay now the thing is suppose now this formula looks okay now let me remove the asterisk symbols because it's implied it's understood that we're doing multiplication understood that we're doing multiplication okay now if I run this yeah perfect now if you see uh, this notation is okay okay now uh, what if I just wanted to write the entire stuff uh, in an uh, entire stuff in a different manner okay like sometimes you might notice that uh, all these uh, formulas are written such that they are in the center of I mean they are in the center of a line okay not not exactly in the center of the page but on the center of a line instead of being along the running text okay it's like th it, that's possible so this if you write a if you write any formula between uh, dollar symbols then it it's a running ma running text mathematic not mathematical mode or inline math ma mathematical mode now let's go for a uh, center justified mathematical mode or a display mathematical mode to do that let's write something uh, for uh, for a quadratic equation okay for a quadratic equation comma uh, ax now to indicate that it's a square we need to power symbol ax square plus bx plus c equals zero the solution of x is given by the notation 
given by the notation. Now let's write this in such a manner that the solution for this okay is written in the center page. To make that possible what you do is that you write the contents in double dollar signs and then write now x will be equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a right now what we notice is that we, this is a fraction term to write the fraction what we need is that we need the symbol frac okay now this part has two this frac, sim, frac part has two uh, sim command has two parts okay the first part is the numerator and the second part is the denominator so in the numerator part write minus b that is our formula and then we have to write plus or minus symbol the symbol for plus or minus in latex is backslash pm okay now if you write that your plus or minus symbol will come so it's minus b plus or minus and then you have to write the square root symbol so the second one square root of okay b square b power 2 minus 4 uh, minus 4 a c so minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 a c and then ju i just have to press tab so that i move to the next arrow sorry next paragraph sorry next curly braces set and then this should be 2 a okay now if i save this and run this up there you have it okay if you notice the entire thing is returned in new paragraph okay you guys might be wondering hey hey Aaron, like you gave a hard return over here and that's why it's like this okay fine With that being the case i don't give a hard return now hardly any return now run this check this up it's still the same okay now this is called as display math mode or center justified mathematical mode wherein whatever you write whatever the pro programs or contents you write with the mathematical mode they will be separate uh, sep uh, displayed in a separate line okay now that being said uh, that being said uh, let's look at uh, some other some more topics um, okay let me just think about what what right, well, we spoke about we spoke about line returns uh, the paragraph and everything yeah let's look at let's look at about this square root symbol and power symbol okay now let me give a title over here uh, section uh, section uh, mathematical modes okay that will be the section for this part and let me give a new section here to sa so that uh, it becomes kind of a documentation for us as well okay now uh, powers subscripts okay subscripts and scripts okay now let's write some subscripts and scripts okay now um, uh, uh, the uh, now I'd algebraic identities algebraic identities are very vital for evaluating for uh, very vital for evaluating a series of for evaluating um, arithmetic operations okay I write like this now let let's write a few uh, identities uh, algebraic identities now uh, I have to write a plus b uh, whole square whole square now this is actually uh, a square plus 2ab plus b square okay now if I run this okay we get the identity nicely now let's write another one other another one identity now this most of you guys must be knowing this a plus b are uh, a whole cube equals a, a cube plus 3a square 
Now here's a here's a fun, here's a tricky part. Here's the tricky part. Now if I write a square b plus three a b square plus b cube. Okay. Now if I were to run this, okay. If you notice, the if you notice something is okay, something is little peculiar here. Like the notation turned out to be fine, but something is interesting like why why did only if in this not expression why did only the 2 go to the power why did not the b go to the power okay we might think like that right now let's think about this another way uh, okay um, let me give another expand let me give another expansion uh, Taylor's his expansion Uh, based on the Taylor series expansion, okay. If we write, okay. Uh, what is it? One minus x whole power minus one uh, is actually given by one plus x square. I think x plus x square plus x cube plus x power four and so on and so forth so if i were to run this taylor the taylor series expansion okay wait hold on if you see this right hand side turned out to be nice but on the left hand side only the minus sign is taken to the power again even here just like what we noticed over here only one term gets raised to the power now that's not what we want we just want this entire minus one to go to the power so what you have to do is that in this case you just have to enclose them, enclose this entire thing in uh, curly braces. Now if you do that, there you have it. Now it's now it looks fine. Okay. Now now it looks fine. Okay. Similarly, uh, let's do something a little more, uh, be little more nice, little more well. Uh, heard about this? heard about uh, uranium I heard about isotopes isotope notations okay let's think about the isotope notations hmm how do we how do we start which one to think about yeah uh, uranium let me write this in dollar sign Ur uh, uranium uh, 235 235 uh, is radioactive is radioactive and naturally the naturally uh, unstable unstable let's say now if I were to run this since this is just a uh, inline math mode it comes like this 2 alone goes to the power but 35 still remains so we notice that we have to write them in write them in pairs now if I save this and run there you have it it goes fine now what if I just want uh, I just want to write the atomic number at the bottom as well it's simple to write that what you need is that use a subscript and then type 92 92, 92 is nothing but the subscript of uranium I mean uh, the mass number sorry atomic number of uranium and uh, if we run like this let's see how this goes um the nine alone comes here the two remains as it is so what if we use the arrow i mean uh, square bra uh, curly braces again run this up yeah now it looks fine uranium 235 92 now it looks fine okay this way you are in a position to include both uh, subscripts and superscripts now to include subscripts and use underscore and if you want to uh, use uh, superscripts okay use them accordingly and uh, similarly uh, if you want to use subscripts and uh, subscripts and continue in uh, in lot we can all we can do something okay the the for uh, forward time backward space scheme 
for uh, forward and backward space finite 